That was a couple of matched shots from The Empire of the Sun, which was filmed here in Shanghai in 1987 by Steven Spielberg. It stars the very young Christian Bale, 13 years old, portraying J.G. Ballard, who wrote the tale in 1984 about his boyhood here between 1930 and 1945, when the Japanese invaded. Throughout the rest of this video, I try to get as many of the other matched shots as I could find here in Shanghai. I hope you enjoy. Here we are briefly inside the hotel just to show you that there are posters for all of the movies it's appeared in and I won't go into detail but there's a link up above where there is more detail about the hotel. have here is J.G. Ballard's boyhood home. It used to be 31A Armhurst Avenue. It is now 508 uh, Panulu and it's been various things. Back in the 60s and 70s it was used to store some books I believe but it recently has been a restaurant called SH508. Then it was a private club called Shinyu and then recently it's become this which is chaos and nobility. That's the newly revamped Shanghai Cinema. So that's Shanghai Magazine did an article on J.G. Ballard's boyhood home. Uh, they wrote it in 2018, so it's not fully up to date as to the current residents, but I'll put a link in the description below if you wish to learn more. Sorry there's no Christian Bale on the left-hand side uh, playing against his former self, uh, he wasn't available. Just to let you know that it's details like this doorway that really helped me find out where the scenes were shot. Hi. This guy taking a photo of me, I had a little chat with him. So some various facts about the movie. Uh, Christian Bale was chosen from over 4,000 uh, child actors to be in the movie. And it took three weeks here in China. And Steven Spielberg and his team had to negotiate with China for a year to be able to get in because it was the first Western movie filmed here since the 1940s. Not all filming was done here, just three weeks of the 16 week schedule. The other shooting was done in the UK for the externals of the houses and in Spain where the Permanent camp was set up. My father's met some very important people. Do you know my father, Mr. Graham? He owns a textile mill. He's, he has an office on Szechuan.
This is Longhua Pagoda and it is part of the Buddhist temple that we have here in southwest Shanghai. They're moving into Chinese New Year, Year of the Dragon, so that's what is going on behind me there. There is indeed an old airport runway near here, so I think in the movie it's listed as Suzhou Creek internment camp. I think there was possibly two that Jim ended up being at. In other words, the one at Suzhou Creek, but also this one here at, uh, at Longhua for protection the the airport runway. A quick mention of other actors, so Leslie Phillips and a young Ben Stiller and John Malkovich. And then in the parental roles, we've got uh, Nigel Havers and Miranda Richardson. Now, something that some people don't realise is that these were mostly model aeroplanes, particularly obvious in this shot. The hotel that you see behind me, which features in the making of documentary, is the Huating Hotel and Towers. And the fact that they were practicing some of the scenes in front of it leads me to believe that they actually stayed here. It was completed in 1986, just in time for the movie being filmed in 1987. And it was the first five star hotel here in Shanghai and China. And it was actually run by the uh, Sheraton Company because there wasn't enough local experience to, to run it uh, as an international concern. The last shot there, looking over at the Bund on a grey January day here in Shanghai. The uh, suitcase of Jamie floating away on the waves, I guess, symbolising his loss of innocence and also of J.G. Ballard when he was here during that wartime. Wasn't able to get the perfect angle because of that uh, cruise terminal there. Uh, Steven Spielberg himself uh, suffered from uh, the divorce of his parents, 1415. It affected him quite uh, a lot and that's why a lot of his stories have that kind of theme with Jamie losing and regaining his parents and also movies like E.T. and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Also Poltergeist, which Steven Spielberg wrote but didn't direct. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and join me on the next one. Bye-bye.